What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with the boxing clinic. We're back on the boxing grind this afternoon. And, um, you know, shout out to Fight Hype for this information. I'm linked to full little video interview they did with Shelly Finkel. And Shelly Finkel is Deontay Wilder's manager. Also has a music management background as well. I guess him and Al Heyman, Eddie Hearn all sat down. Al Heyman is Deontay Wilder's advisor, um, which means possibly his co-manager too. But he's probably his, his advisor, which means he just hashes out the deals and crunch the numbers. He makes the deals happen. You know, he's the one that get his fighters, you know, the most money. And uh, that's what it means when he's, you know, exclusively the advisor or just advisor, you know, or the advisor manager. But that's what he does. And, um, you know, Shelly Finkel said the talks were positive with him, you know, and Eddie Hearn. I guess Al Hamer was involved as well and said that uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, sat down with the numbers, say, this is what y'all make if you, you know, this is what you guys would make if you fought in London, Vegas, and probably a couple other venues he probably proposed. But London, Vegas is the two um, that I you know, I really remember him saying. And um, he says that, um, you know, it's a good, you know, it was positive, you know, and, uh, you know, it was positive enough that um, whatever Deontay Wilder saw was asking for, that Eddie Hearns didn't reject it right away and says that he's going to meet with Anthony Joshua, I believe he says, in, in Dubai, you know, later, in, at, next week, I think, and, and see if that's what Deontay, I mean, see if that's what Anthony Joshua wants to do um, and, uh, you know, and fight. And I figured if Eddie Hearn, you know, feels that the deal and what Deontay Wilder's team were asking for was, you know, you know, was solid, was pretty good, he wouldn't even, you know, if it wasn't good, he wouldn't have took it back to Deontay, uh, Anthony Joshua, excuse me. And uh, I think he feels the deal is solid, you know. Um, you know, probably Anthony Joshua was taking the lion's share of the um, of the pie as he should. He's the bigger draw. But, um, you know, Anthony Joshua was just, you know, shot back, you know, again at Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Joseph Parker. Like, who cares? You know, at the end of the day, you are ready to show your true colors by saying that, you know, you're not ready for Deontay Wilder and all that other stuff. And I say you're a coward. And people say, well, how does a boxer that goes in the ring and put his life on the line as a coward? You know, did y'all remember Michael Spinks was crying and yelling and scared to come out of his locker room versus Mike Tyson? Come on now. Every day, you know, we step outside our houses and we get behind a wheel and we go to work. You know, you putting your life on the line every day. You know, a lot of people don't look at it that way. You know, you drive behind the wheel and the way certain people drive, you know, in this world, you know, you put your life on the line. So I, I get tired of that excuse why boxers can't be cowards and can't be scared because they, they, they square up. You know, there's people on the street that square up and fight with bare knuckles every day. There's people that go into burning houses. There's people that, you know, clean windows on 10 story, you know, you know, buildings and stuff like that. So don't act like, you know, combat sports are the only people that put their life on the line. People put their lives on the line on a daily basis, and he's not above. And any boxer that's, you know, has cowardly traits are not above being cowards. So, you know, that's just my point of view on it. But, you know, it sounds like it was a positive deal. Shelly Finkel said it's a real possibility that this fight can happen in Las Vegas. And, um, you know, I, I would rather it happen in the U.K. I think the U.K. fans definitely deserve that. I think Anthony Joshua is the bigger star over there. I think Deontay Wilder should travel to the UK and fight Anthony Joshua. I think it puts more money in his pocket. Um, but if they want to do it in Vegas, you know, Deont Anthony Joshua said he he's not even he doesn't even want to fight in America. So I think he's going to opt to do the do the um, the the London Wembley Stadium wherever they they choose to fight over in the UK. That's what he's going to opt to do. I don't see him having the Kahuna's to come to America and fight Deontay Wilder. Um, unless Wilder gives some of his lion's share to Anthony Joshua and compromises to, to make this fight happen in Vegas is the only way I see it happening. But apparently they hashed out a good enough deal to take back to Anthony Joshua. Um, and, you know, he does what, um, what uh, Eddie Hearn says. So, um, you know, whatever Eddie Hearn say, he said, okay, I got this deal for you. Do you really want it? You know, and if, you know, he don't like the deal, they compromise, they come back with a counter off and we'll see what we come up with, but it sounds positive. I'll link the video to the description.